Welcome back to the show. We're now joined by sophomore sprinter John Karen and junior pole vaulter John Wood. John, as far as pole vaulter goes, North Central has had a crop of good ones in for a while. Do you guys like hang out in a vineyard where there's a bunch of pole vaulters and these coaches come by and just pick you off the tree? <laughs> What's the deal? Why are you guys so successful as a group? It's really just the environment we're in. You know, when you have the past alumni as good as they have been, it's just, it sets up a legacy for you. And then our coach, obviously, Tim Winder, is just fantastic. Just everything he preaches, and we all just feed off of it, and we work together, work harder to be the best we can. As an outsider looking at the pole vault event, I mean, it looks like by far the most daunting in the track and field spectrum. It looks kind of scary even. Do you have to have a little bit of a maybe wild side to be able to do that? I mean, come, what was your first experience doing it to where you're at now, I guess? Um, I'd say everyone has a little bit of a wild side if you want to be a pole vaulter, but uh, the more experience you get with it, it's, it's kind of like you just have to focus on what you're doing and you kind of throw out that scared like way behind you. You just go out there and do it now, whereas thinking about it, you, you don't even think about it, right? Yeah, it's kind of like what our coaches always just preach to us. It's the process. We focus on what we have to do, uh, our technique and everything. We don't focus on the outcome, clearing the bar or whatever. We focus on what pole we're jumping on, just where our plant should be, all the technique. And from one John to another, John Karen, as a freshman last year, you're part of two national title teams and you're also on a national title winning relay. I imagine that's a pretty good way to start a college career. <laughs> yeah, I was, pretty, uh, I was pretty satisfied with my freshman year. Oh, uh, how much fun was that? Um, I don't even know if I could put it into words. It was just like, it was a totally different environment from the way my high school team was set up. It was so much more of a family and I, don't know, I just felt like I just kind of meshed in with it. As we talk about that four by four team, you guys, all four of you are back this season. I imagine, you know, goal number one, probably to repeat as indoor national champions. Number two, maybe take down that, uh, Fastest four by four time in school history? Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's actually on most of our minds. Is Dan Benton, who is our our anchor, like he always, mm -hmm. like every day, he always reminds me about that. Uh, he just tells me 307. He tells me that we're gonna break that record this year, and that's our main goal is that. So definitely, once you guys kind of get back together, everybody gets healthy. That's that's the target you guys have set up, and yeah, the main thing you're getting on. That's what we're aiming towards, yeah. And coach, how much of a plus is it when you know? You have guys that have you know, started their track careers so early, can get in, be part of something successful. Is that something that's really a great pitch to some of the prospective Cardinals when you talk to them? Sure, I mean, it's, uh, there's no scholarship, so you have to prove it uh, in performance mm -hmm. and uh, you know, have enough depth in those areas to fill in when there are some injuries or when people just walk away and say, you know, it's, it's not for me anymore. So, you need a, a big crew of, of sprinters, but certainly, you know, being able to, to tell a high school athlete that, you know, yeah, we got a great team coming back, but you never know what's going to happen. And we do have two uh, transfer students that have filled in the sprint events and doing very well for us. So, uh, you know, everybody's got to keep working hard and uh, try to do the best that they can do. And then in the end result, I'm the one who has to put four guys together. And it's uh, not easy sometimes, but. You know, when you fall back into an individual event, you may try a little bit harder, or we can do something a little different where each person has, uh, you know, their own relay spot. In the distance medley, part of that is a 400, so maybe a guy who doesn't make it in the 4x4 four four is going to be in the distance medley relay. And then, of course, outdoors, you have the 4x1. But uh, it's, uh, I don't want to say it's survival of the fittest, but certainly, you know, you got to have the athletes come in, and you have to have enough of them because you never know who uh, you know, may leave school or who is injured or who just is not uh, having a, a lot of fun anymore. So someone else has to step in. Definitely, and John is one of the veterans on this team. Obviously, you know, people point to all the success you guys had last year. How do you guys avoid becoming comfortable and really shooting for you know, higher values on all your events and really putting forth efforts like you guys have in these first couple meets? In order to stay focused, we pretty much have to look at ourselves and we try and find these individual perfections basically it's what can I do in every little aspect to make myself better and I think that's what drives all of us to be better as ourselves and then be better as a team. 
Definitely. Well, just after the first of the year, many former Cardinals flocked to the Res Rec for the 27th annual North Central Alumni Meet. But this year's edition of the event was extra special. All that and more in this week's Cardinal Corner. The men's cross country and track and field programs know all about perfect scores. And they scored one of sorts with last year's Triple Crown. The three national titles scored the Cardinals the Al Carius Program of the Year Award, presented by the United States Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association to the most successful Division III program in the country. It was kind of uh, neat not just to present the award, but to actually be able to present it to the person that it's named for. The namesake for the award and the longtime Cardinal coach Al Carius is quick to deflect the attention. All the athletes through Starting back when I came in 1966 to now, again, the founding fathers that helped build this program. When I look at that trophy, that's what it means to me. It is not my trophy. It's not my name. It's theirs. Plenty of those contributors were on hand for the 27th annual meet. And they were there not only to see teammates, but to bask in a proud Cardinal moment. You couldn't find a more deserving person. Your your national level guys or your you know not as competitive you know athletes are everybody in between. You still feel like you're a part of the team wherever you're at, and you know I don't think you're going to find a better coach Division One through three uh, than than Al Carius. The fact that they've got a program that can win three national championships in one year with just a great group of runners, and I, forget their forget their ability, just the class you know, very you know, classy, wonderful bunch of kids. You, you can say all the things about all of his accomplishments and winning all the national titles, all the All-Americans, national championships, um, but it's what he does with the program. He's not worried about that. He's worried about the process of building great men. With that approach has come a lot of success. And with all the running talent in the house, you'd think crowds would be captivated by returning national champions and All-Americans. But the real buzz, came for the children's races. We find more and more that uh, uh, our alums have children and probably one of the highlights of the entire evening is the children's race. That's more significant, more important, more exciting than any other race that we have here. John, how is it, I guess maybe kind of surreal that a program coached in part by Al Carius wins the Al Carius Program of the Year Award? That was amazing, really. Uh, when that when that award award first came out, uh, my freshman year, I know it was something we all wanted to have, and we didn't quite get it freshman year. But based off of our performances, it kind of led us into my sophomore year last year, and I know it was in the back of our heads the entire time, and we really wanted to win it for him, win it for us, win it for this entire school, and we did it. <laughs> Is it almost one of those things where it's kind of like a family and you guys maybe uh, some of your performances are getting better because of you see some of these guys at an event like the alumni meet? Yeah, it's, um, it really gives you a lot of ins uh, inspiration to aspire to make them proud and try to like honor their name because they're the alumni and uh, you're the, they're the legacy, or they're leaving you the legacy of the North Central track team. So something that you guys kind of have to build on what they've already established and kind of make their name proud going forward, I guess? Yeah, exactly. And you know, as a sprinter, uh, Coach Graham has kind of been your position coach, I guess, since you've been here. Mm -hmm. And I know, uh, obviously, last year, he uh, did a lot of the administrative duties, but now that he's officially got the head coach title, have you, you seen him change at all? Um, not really. Still the same, still the same old Grammy. Um, maybe, a little, maybe a little harder this year, maybe a little tougher, but um, that's just because he's got a title to defend and he wants to come out his first year as a head coach strong. No doubt about it. John, or Coach, how much have you seen John kind of grow as a sprinter in the last year and a half or so? Uh, tremendously. I mean, it was a miracle season almost, uh, you know, barely getting to nationals in the 4x4, four four, uh, qualifying at the last chance uh, indoor meet, and then, you know, still taking the right steps and some guys battling little injuries here and there and just maturing at the national meet and then carrying that to the outdoor season. And, uh, you know, doing a great job, especially losing our number one guy. I think uh, you know, the other guys on the team really stepped up, including John, and had to make a commitment that, okay, our number one is down, but who's going to fill in, and we're just going to keep going. And he's grown tremendously, and we'll see what happens this year with 
him and all the other younger guys that sooner or later they're not young anymore. You know, <laughs> sophomore, junior, and then senior. It goes by really fast. Definitely. And John, it seems like, you know, Coach and I alluded to it a little bit earlier. Track is such an individual sport. You know, you're looking at times, you're looking at distances, all those type of things. But being around this team, it seems like you guys really, the team aspect sort of seems to come number one. How do you guys kind of keep that in perspective? It's, it really is something crazy. Uh, back in high school, it wasn't like that at all. But now in college, it was, I learned it from all the juniors and seniors when I was a freshman. And it's just talking about the team all the time and what can I do for the team. And I have to perform the best I can for the team. Mm -hmm. And it's really just the kind of atmosphere that we've installed here at North Central College. And I think we've all fed off of it. Well, guys, we appreciate you stopping by. Good luck the rest of the way. Right. Well, we're not done yet. The Cardinal Report is back in less than a minute.